Hey guys, what's up? Joe here today, and I'm going to be showing you how to do scheduled reboots on your Android devices. I did one of these for iOS a few months ago. The benefits are obvious. If you can't get a hold of them on remote access, this could save the day since it's local on the device. It's going to reboot it for you and get, get you back in to making money if you can't get to the device physically. So, download Script Manager. That's the first thing we got to do here. It's on the Google Play Store. I'll leave a link in the description as well. I'm doing this on my Moto G version 1. I had to restore it because it was having problems. Go figure. Some of these cheaper phones. There's something wrong with one of my X seeds too, and I think it might go. But anyway, let's talk about this now. Open Script Manager. There's only one thing we have to do in Script Manager. At least this is, how, this is how I do it. First thing you actually have to do is create a reboot script file. It's an extremely simple file. It's only two lines. I'm actually going to use ES File Explorer to do this. I think you can create files in Script Manager, but I'm not exactly sure. I just like ES File Explorer because that's what I'm comfortable with. So download that as well. I'll leave a link in the description for it. You need ES File Explorer and Script Manager. Go into your home folder and go up to new. You have to click on the top menu bar and click new, do a new folder. I'm gonna call it script manager. This is where I'm gonna keep any script manager scripts that I create. And on the inside of this folder, script manager in my home folder, go back up to new again and go to file. I'm gonna call it reboot. Now we're gonna write our reboot script. Open it up, it's text. I'm gonna use ES note editor for this. Hit the menu button again, click edit. First you have to type in the shebang. That would be a pound symbol and an exclamation point. Then we need to direct it to the shell. Type in system. We're doing a path here. Slash bin slash sh. When I do a website article on this, I will have this code as well for you to use. And then just type in reboot. It's a very simple script. And then just go back to save it. Do you want to save reboot? Yes. All right, now from here, we have to schedule this. That's why we're using Script Manager. So we're going to schedule this to run at certain times of the day. You can pick whatever you want. Now, I have a menu button up here to get to the scheduler option, just as we did in ES File Explorer. But on some phones, like my LG uh, Zones, I had to click at the bottom. See this square button? I had to click at the bottom here, hold that button down, and then this menu would appear. So go to Advanced, Scheduler, add new task, go up to repeat first to configure it, pick a time, you have to click time, and I think I'll go with about 5 o'clock a.m. for a reboot. Just gonna automatically reboot at 5 a.m. here. Don't touch until or run each, it just needs to run once every day of the week. Select file, now we're gonna have to go down and find our script manager file that I created in the home folder, and select it, click use. And you can name it if you want, but as long as you know what's going on here, it's no problem. Save it. And there you go. Make sure it's on. And you can do it for every time of the day. I have about three times a day that I reboot my Android devices. So I'm just going to go in and add three more tasks. So that's it, guys. That's how you do your reboots on Android automatically. It's a great thing to have locally on the device. It's kind of a fail safe. It's going to do it. Uh, script manager is pretty reliable. I tried it with a couple things and this, this is definitely a good way to do it. All right. I hope you guys found this episode useful and I'll talk to you guys later this week for more money making stuff. A giveaway system where every single day I'm going to give away a $1 Amazon gift card to a $3 Amazon gift card. I'm going to keep an eye on the website's traffic. If it does well, then I'll up it to like a $5 Amazon gift card or a $10 Amazon gift card. 